I'd recommend to everyone, just go ahead, head to the pricing calculator and start estimating the services that you're working on. Do more than just browse. Actually take a service and try to configure it. Consider learning about the service as you try to build your estimate out. Welcome back to the Azure Essential Show. I'm your host, Thomas, and today I'm joined by Britt from Microsoft Azure to explore the Azure Pricing Calculator and how it helps you solve one of the biggest challenges in cloud adoption, accurate cost estimation. Britt, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Thomas. So obviously, cost estimation is a big deal when you start working with cloud, and even if you have been working with cloud for a long time. So let's set the foundation here. What exactly is the Azure Pricing Calculator and what does it do? Yeah, the Azure Pricing Calculator is a web-based tool that's really the gold standard for estimating Azure costs, whether it's a small business or you're an enterprise. It's like your financial planning companion that helps you turn your anticipated usage into cost estimates. It's not just a simple calculator. It's designed to help you simulate different service configurations, and estimated usage to deliver realistic pricing scenarios. Absolutely. I think it's a, it's a must-use tool, obviously, whenever you start something on Azure. Um, can you talk us a little bit for the viewers, what are the key benefits they should know about? Yeah, I'd like to think that there are three key benefits. The first is that you get your precision in your estimates through service-specific inputs. It's not guesswork. The calculator uses real-time pricing data across all of our global regions and comes with pre-built templates for common workloads. Second, it brings clarity to your decision-making by letting you model different scenarios side-by-side, side, compare various architectures to see the cost impacts of your design choices. And third, the calculator helps you deploy with confidence through clear cost breakdowns at every service Every SKU is itemized. You can export comprehensive reports for stakeholder reviews or even share to coworkers to get more collaborative estimates. Plus, if you're an enterprise customer and you have a specific agreement, you can even show that agreement's pricing and you'll see your specific discounts by applying your agreement in the calculator. Fantastic. Again, so this calculator gives you precision, clarity, and confidence with real tailoring to your specific needs. Can you walk us through how to access it and what someone would actually see if they open it? Absolutely. You can access the pricing calculator by going to azure.microsoft.com slash pricing slash calculator. Or if you're already on the azure.com website, you can head directly to the navigation up at the top. You see a pricing section and you'll see calculator right underneath that. Once you've pulled it up, uh, this is what you're going to see. There are three main sections to the pricing calculator, and the first is the product picker, which shows up at the top. This is where you're going to see all of the different Azure services. Uh, you've got a search bar if you're looking for a specific one. We have categories of services. We even have, for any specific service, a product card where you can learn more information about it before you begin your estimation. Then, if you scroll down a little bit, you see your estimate. Now, right now, my estimate is blank because I haven't added any services to it. But if I say add virtual machines and I scroll down, I can see all of the configuration details about virtual machines. This includes the region I want to deploy it in, the operating system between Windows or Linux. Uh, it even lets me see the instance dropdown so I can select any instance that I would like to. And if I scroll down even more, I can see the upcoming monthly price for the selected instance that I have, along with other services that get deployed with managed with uh, virtual machines like managed disks, like storage transactions, etc. So it's it's got everything that you need here with its own customization for virtual machines, so you can get an accurate cost. Awesome. Okay, that's easy enough. So how do I see the final results? Yeah, absolutely. It's right here at the bottom. You can see your estimated upfront, estimated monthly cost. You can even select your support tier. And when you log in, you'll be able to access features like export, save, share, or even selecting a specific license agreement if you're an enterprise customer. 
So what's really powerful here is that not only can you see your specific pricing, but also these features such as export, save, and share transform the pricing calculator from a you know, siloed exercise into a collaborative experience. It evolves with your project. Fantastic. So the personalized pricing feature is great for our customers, obviously, uh, who are starting using deploying workloads on Azure uh, to really have this tailored experience. You mentioned that the collaborative conversation, what are the different people within an organization that typically use the pricing calculator? Yeah, that's a great question. This tool actually serves multiple personas across the entire project lifecycle. On the technical side, you have engineering teams and FinOps professionals who dive deep into the configuration details during planning and optimization phases. And over on the business side, you have IT decision makers, procurement teams, finance teams, using it for high-level cost projections and budget planning. And the beauty of this tool is that the same estimate serves both audiences. Engineering configures the technical specifications, while finance teams uses those estimates for budgeting discussions. And it spans the whole journey pre-purchase for forecasting and architecture validation, then post-deployment for reviewing and optimizing the actual spending for those original estimates. Uh, pretty much across your entire estimation lifecycle, everyone's going to be using the calculator for some benefit. Fantastic. So for our viewers who want to experience this all firsthand, what would you recommend as their next steps? Yeah, I'd recommend everyone just go ahead, head to the pricing calculator, and start estimating the services that you're working on. Do more than just browse. Actually take a service and try to configure it. Consider learning about the service as you try to build your estimate out. You'll find comprehensive tutorials and best practices on Microsoft Learn if you want to go any deeper. And the pricing calculator has links to those things in the experience itself. Excellent advice, Brett. So thank you for walking us through the Azure Pricing Calculator today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Thomas. You can find links to all the resources we covered today in the episode description section below. And by the way, this is just the first episode in our series on Azure cost estimation. We are planning to cover specific use cases and scenarios. So let us know in the comments what situations you'd like us to tackle next. Maybe migration scenarios or specific workload types. Tell us what you think. Don't forget to give our show a like and subscribe to the channel to get notified when a new episode drops. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time on the Azure Essentials Show.